what's up guys? It's me again. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks, maybe three, four, maybe a month since we went through the Gospel of Mark. I read a chapter every single day, posted it on here in a uh, fantasy land that we call social media. Uh, but now that we are, are in the season of Lent, I thought about doing something a little bit different. Um, we got here a book called The Way of the Ascetics by Tito Corleander. Um, 26, 26 chapters, I do believe. Um, so that's kind of my game plan is to go through each one of these chapters. They're fairly short chapters. Uh, read them, post them on here for you fine, wonderful people. And pray that you and I both um, get touched by it and, and dedicate our lives to grow a little bit closer to Christ. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. A little note to start this off. Here we go. This work is based on the Holy Fathers of the Orthodox Church and consists largely of direct or freely rendered extracts from their writings, together with some necessary interpretation and practical application. Spiritual quotations are from the authorized version, except those from the Psalms, which follow the prayer book of Psalter. Chapter 1, On the Resolute and Sustained Purpose If you wish to save your soul and win eternal life, arise from your lethargy, make the sign of the cross, and say, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Faith comes not through pondering, but through action. Not words and speculation, but experience teaches us what God is. To let in fresh air, we have to open a window. To get tanned, we must go outside into the sunshine. Achieving faith is no different. We never reach a goal by just sitting in comfort and waiting, says the Holy Fathers. Let the prodigal son be our example. He arose and came, Luke 15. However, weighed down and entangled in earthly fetters you may be, it can never be too late. Not without reason, it is written that Abraham was 75 when he set forth, and, and the laborer who comes in the 11th hour gets the same wages as the one who comes in the first. Nor can it be too early. A forest fire cannot be put out too soon. Would you see your own soul ravaged and charred? In baptism, you receive the command to wage the invisible warfare against the enemies of your soul. Take it up now. Long enough have you dallied, sunk in indifference and laziness. You have let much valuable time go to waste. Therefore, you must begin again from the beginning. For you have let the purity you received in baptism be sullied in dire fashion. Arise then, but do so at once without delay. Do not defer your purpose till tonight or till tomorrow or later when I have finished what I have to do just now. The interval may be fatal. No, this moment, the instant you make your resolution, you will show by your action that you have taken leave of your old self and have now begun a new life with a new destination and a new way of living. Arise, therefore, without fear and say, Lord, let me begin now. Help me. For what you need above all is God's help. Hold fast to your purpose and do not look back. We have been given a warning example in Lot's wife, who was turned into a pillar of salt when she looked back. Genesis 19. You have cast off your old humanity. Let the rags lie. Like Abraham, you have heard the voice of the Lord Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, into the land that I will show thee. Genesis 12. Toward that land, thereafter, you must direct all your attention. All right, guys. 
That was the first chapter of The Way of the Ascetic. We'll be back tomorrow with chapter two. Have a good one, guys. Bye.